Now, Davis and Sharliff, Executive Chairman Alec Davis, has been named in this year's Business Worldwide magazine and credited for building a transformative business throughout Africa. The 2020 Business Worldwide CEO Awards recognized Davis for overseeing the family-owned company revolutionized water supply in Kenya and African countries over the last seven decades. Here are the details of these and other stories in our corporate briefs. The 2020 Business Worldwide CEO Award sought to identify and honor the most respected C-level executive across the globe from a variety of different sectors. Alec Davis joined the company in 1976, took the helm from his father, Eddie Davis, in 1990, and embarked on an aggressive expansion strategy focused on the distribution business. Under his tenure, the company partnered with a number of high-profile agencies, including Italy's Pedrolo Pumps, and established a subsidiary in Uganda, Tanzania, Zambia, and Rwanda. The executive chairperson said being a close family business has immensely contributed to the key wins that Davis and Shatliff has recovered over the years it has been in operation. Meanwhile, Housing Development Financial Shelter Africa has entered into a strategic partnership with the World Bank aimed at addressing the affordable housing crisis evident across the continent. Shelter Africa CEO Andrew Shimfonda says the two institutions were working towards a more long-term partnership with a mix of possible interventions, including support for member countries' equity injections. The World Bank has also extended a 22 million shilling grant to support Shelter Africa's capital market program. Finally, Pride in Hotel Managing Director Hassan Norani is urging the government to scale down taxes and levies in the tourism industry in a bid to boost domestic tourism and recreate jobs for the youth. Nurani says the industry risks extreme revenue drops unless taxes and levies at the national and county level are marginalized. There is the cost of power. There's the cost of taxes and then the cost of interest. We want to ask the government, let us work together so we see how we can lower these rates and how we can work together to lower the prices. He says levies introduced by counties coupled with already existing statutory taxes are pushing up the cost of tourism products.